you know, I'm s I still want to play The Witcher 3. It's just that I never, I, I'm not never, but I don't have time always playing because I'm always getting stuff ready for work. Um, a lot of times it's getting stuff ready for school, but it's mainly just working, getting that money rolling. You know how it goes. But um, yeah, I'm just working a lot, and the only days I have off is Monday, Tuesday. The rest of the week is all like work shifts and everything. But I'll still be able to give you guys gameplay of The Witcher 3. Then later on, I'll be doing videos of any other games you guys want, like Black Ops 3. I'll probably have like videos and gameplays of that. Also, um, has Creed Syndicate as well, and any Destiny expansions you guys want. But for now, let's just do The Witcher 3 and let's get started. So right now, we've just fought some of the monsters and we're with Lilac and Gooseberries, I believe. And remember, I have played this game before, so the gameplay, we're just going to start with the negative and evil choices. But I'm going to pick the evil choices just in story mode. I'm going to do good side quests, but negative and bad stories. Okay, so let's start this. I remember playing this uh, for my very first time. I was always curious of like grabbing all the corpses and looting all their organs and stuff. Because in this game, there's a lot of uh, alchemy, and you just gotta be very careful who you pick. And I remember there was a crow, like a diamond crow's head, somewhere here. It's supposed to be right beside the campsite. Oh, that's odd. Uh, that's a nest down there. I don't want to bother with that. I need the proper bomb. Do I or have in my inventory actually? Yes, I know how the inventory system works. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, don't have it. Quest items, nope. Crafting items, nope. I don't believe that uh, Crystal Scrolls Crow Head was crafting item, I believe. Or uh, alchemy use. I could probably sell it for money. As I. There's a glitch in the game where you can literally, um, not a glitch, but it's mainly uh, selling all your resources, you like weapons and stuff, to different shop that has more money. The more you sell them, the more money because you get. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going.
Have to go. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No, but... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Faster. Come on. Yeah, so there's a book of all the beasts in the game. Uh, my previous um, game that I played there, I filled this book up with like a lot, like a lot, a lot. And you can fill up the book with um, so, more information. Griffin about this it close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest or the mountain, sure, but here, near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Get up. The Temerian lilies, they've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Let's pass through. Now a Griffin's pro Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? Master Witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Show me what you got behind the counter. Yes, roasted chicken legs. Got that four chicken legs. Okay, so this whole entire game, you need to survive on either meditating or eating food. And I'm broke as hell because I'm at my gold or my crowns is what this game's currency is. 
Because I have 250. I'm like, damn. Uh, Gwen cards you can collect for games as well. Really kind of a fun game. But I'm going to stick with the four chicken legs I have and just buy some Gwen cards. Because I'm going to need it later on in the game to get more currency. Uh, but what else can I buy? Some water. Uh, actually, I'm okay with water and stuff. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Thanks. For everything. that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. How am I gonna draw any yeah. attention? Black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Yeah, you better shut up. There are four factions. For what? What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the Sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. 
Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have yes. time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. No, I don't need any tutorials. Oh, damn, I didn't know I can get a decoy that early in the game. Yes. Okay, so the best way I can describe Gwent for all you guys is basically think of it as Yu Gi Oh! but all the stars are totals, and the more stars you have on your card, the more um, points you gain. Or just like playing cards, if I drop a six of hearts, and I drop another five of hearts, the points is the gain the higher and higher. And pretty soon I can clean these guys so easily. Game, you only have two. You only have two tries. So let's try this. It's not a game for everyone. Requires an analytical mind. 
If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. I ain't gonna play you again. I need more. I need collect more cards. The more cards I collect, the better. And the rare ones too. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone, and not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries. Dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Come help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gaunt to road deem, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Where the hell you go? Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Wouldn't want to stay long anyway. Maybe not. And maybe you'll just stay forever. Six feet under. Bad idea. Fight? Okay. They've done this easy way of me. Yeah, there's side quests and side quests are getting more gold. Which 
We can do one right now, actually. Jetty. So I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set alight me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. The only smith around, so I got to surface the garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. The humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, huh? Look. of piss and vodka. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. by his wounds. Drowner claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa. Our arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. I ought to talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some. What's left is yours. So again, main quests, I'm 
Go do evil, but the side quests I'm going to do as good. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Calm down. Now follow me. for trouble. Uh, I think those plums are wreaking havoc in the bay. Uh, you can probably spawn here, can you? Make it me a switch. Yeah, you can spawn in. Up and at him. Hmm. What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Now? You! I knew your mom for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Villagers will really love you now. Well, no, I don't give a flying fuck about them. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil's still whole, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Let me just sharpen my sword. Enhance it. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? A blacksmith. Show me what you got. You really need blacksmiths in this game. If you don't have blacksmiths, I'm sorry, but. Your inventories will be full, your swords will get damaged so badly, you're, you're just not going to survive, I'm sorry. Mm, maximum inventory weight, but I'm broke as hell. Nah. No. Is everything for 10 gold, okay. So long. So what can we do? What can we do? Let's see what's over here. Not so fast, Roach. Hey! Anyone up? Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hurt. That is. 
till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like for his own. Standing at the window, peering at the goings on. He must have been there. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran? Got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. I see his way listening, just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. T'were old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. So let's break down the door. Alright. So the good thing about The Witcher 3 is every now and then you can get crowns looting dead corpses and just sneaking a in and explains the stench. Walking around random people's houses and seeing they have any gold. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. His What's throat. That, he was garroted. Nothing. Nothing. And some old But scars. Kind of soldier say might have. Me. Back around with crossbows. Nice. Ah. Huh. The priceless frying pan. Hm. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Found the pan, have you? Yes, I don't... Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Yes. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, son. For the road. I have a nice white fish. Bye, Granny. Turn. Still okay. Ooh, baked apples. And bread. Ooh, apple juice. Okay then. Ooh. Even better wolves.
So now that I killed the wolves, what I can now do is steal their carcass. And really the only thing I steal from them now is just raw meat. So I can eat that. That's it. some dogs and I'll just kill Well, I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe, please. And thank you very much. Enjoy.